Welcome to this lesson of Abacus Math. We are going to learn subtraction today. <clears throat> so let's get started. The first problem we're going to work is 1 minus 1. It's fairly simple. So let's just start with positioning our beads. 1 minus 1. So 1 up 1 minus. So we will say down 1. 1 minus 1. So up 1, down 1. So here we go. We already have up 1 and down 1. up one down one one minus one and we're left with zero let's try a few more of these exercises um, let's do three minus one so up three down one three minus one down one up three down one up three, down one, and we are left with two. <clears throat> the next one, let's do four minus three. So up four, minus three is down three, up four, down three, and we're left with one. Let's do that again. 4 minus 3 is up 4. Minus 3 is down 3. We're left with 1. Let's try another one. 2 minus 1. So up 2. Down 1. We're left with 1. Once again, up two, down one, and one is the answer. Three minus two, so up three, down two, one is the answer. Let's try that again. Three minus two, up three, down to one. Let's do one more. Four minus two. So up four. Down two. And we're left with two. One more time. Four minus two. Up four. Down two. And we're left with two. Let's do a few more. Four minus one. Up four. Down one. Three. Four minus one. Up four. Down one. The answer you're left with is three. 6 minus 1. 6. So it's up 5 and up 1. Down 1. We're left with 5. Let's clear the abacus. We're going to reset it. Let's understand this concept well. 6 minus 1. How do we represent 6? Up 5 and up 1 up 5 and up 1 gives us 6 minus 1 down 1 leaves us with 5 let's do 8 minus 2 so 8 is up 5 and up 3 up 5 and up 3 we have 8 
minus 2 is down to we're li left with 6 let's try that again 8 minus 2 and how do we represent 8 up 5 and up 3 we have 8 minus 2 we're gonna down 2 and we're left with 5 and 1 6 let's do one last one 9 minus 3 how do we represent 9 up 5 and up 4 we have 9 and minus 3 is very simple down 3 and we down 3 we're left with 6 once again 9 minus 3 up 5 and up 4 we have 9 minus 3 is down 3 and we're left with 6 Let's once again talk about little friends. If you remember the different little friends we have in relation with base 5. So little friend of 1 is 4. Little friend of 2 is 3. Little friend of 3 is 2 and little friend of 4 is 1 so why are we talking about little friends again so continuing with our subtractions let's try this 5 minus 1 so 5 is up 5 minus 1 well we don't have any bead to take down all the earthly beads are already down so how are we gonna go down anymore aha let's use a little friend now in subtraction it's a little different than the addition we're going to use a little friend let's just say up little friend down five up little friend down five so five minus one so let's find a little friend of one well we know little friend of one is four so up little friend up four down 5 what just happened we got our answer 5 minus 1 is 4 once again remember up little friend down 5 when it comes to subtraction let's try that again let's reset the abacus 5 minus 1 up 5 now we don't have any beads to go down minus one meaning one or down one since we don't have any beads left we're going to use the little friend little friend of one is four up little friend down five up four down five and we get our answer which is four Let's try a couple more examples. 6 minus 3. So how are we going to show 6? Up 5 and up 1. We have 6 minus 3. Well, we're once again in the same problem. We don't have enough earthly beads to go down. Which is 3. Down 3. but not enough beads to go down so what is the 
little friend of 3. We know the little friend of 3 is 2. So up little friend, down 5, up little friend. Little friend of 3 is 2. So up 2, down 5. And we have the answer 3. 6 minus 3, we're left with 3. Let's retry one more time. 6 minus 3, up 5 and up 1. We have 6 minus 3. Little friend of 3 is 2. So up 2, down 5. And we get 3. Let's try one more. 8 minus 4. So up 8, minus 4. Well, we run into the same problem. We don't have enough earthly beads to go down, which is 4. We only have 3 beads to go down. So we're going to look for the little friend of 4, which is 1. So up little friend, up 1, down 5. And there we go. We have our answer 4. Let's try one more time. 8 minus 4. So up 8 minus 4. So little friend of 4 is 1. Up 1, down 5. And there's your answer 4. So let's talk a little bit about little friend once again. It's a very, very, very important concept in performing uh, calculations on abacus. Um, in addition, we learned how the little friend works. Uh, we say up five, down little friend, up five down little friend in subtraction it works differently we use the little friend like this up little friend down five up little friend down five um, you really, really need to remember this. When it's addition, up five, down, little friend. And when it's subtraction, it's up little friend down five um, practice this phrase in addition we use the little friend up five down little friend in subtraction we use the little friend up little friend down five um, once you get this concept once you remember this, it would be breeze to perform additions and subtractions 